Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video session, we will learn about bidirectional ports of a module. A module uses bidirectional port to either transmit or receive data. But at a time, it can either transmit or receive data. In every HDL language, there is a special provision to declare a bidirectional port. For example, in Verilog and VHDL, a bidirectional port is declared with the syntax in-out. Now, let us see how to implement a bidirection port using Verilog and VHDL. Friends, before explaining bidirection ports, I have taken an example of a very simple module. It has no bidirection ports. It has two ports out p and in p out p is dedicatedly used to transmit data in p is dedicatedly used to receive data and let us assume that there are two variables inside a module data tx and data rx data tx is assigned to out p in case of data transmission and data is received on variable data rx from port in p in the next part of the video, we will learn how to replace two ports out P and in P with a single bidirection port when internal variables data TX and data RX will remain same. Now let us see how to code this module. Friends, I'm showing coding in Verilog. You can easily drive the VHDL code from here. After declaration of ports, module will be complete with simple two assigned statements out p is equal to data tx and data rx is equal to in p now let us see how to replace these two ports out p and in p with a single bidirectional port i have replaced both the ports with a single bidirectional port with the name bidir in verilog and vhdl bidirectional ports are declared with the keyword in out it is not that straightforward to use bidirection ports. We need to use a tri-state buffer with the enable signal to implement bidirection ports. I am assuming that internal registers data TX and data RX are same. But here we have introduced another signal uh, that is enable signal to this data buffer. If this enable signal will be high, data TX will be passed to this bidirectional port. If this enable signal is zero. This will be in a high impedance state. And data Rx will always be equal to bidirectional port. The same behavior can be written in terms of very low code. And viewers, you can easily write uh, it in VHDL also. Bidirectional port is equal to data Tx when OE, that is enable signal to this buffer is high. If this OE is zero, then this bidirectional port will be in a high impedance state. And data Rx will always be equal to bidirectional port. Friends, now I am going to quote one of the practical use case. In this use case, uh, I have included USB 2.0 ULP5, which is interacting with its controller layer. And this interface uh, is called ULPI interface. It consists of data bus which is bidirectional and its functionality is clubbed with DIR signal which is output of physical layer. DIR meaning direction. Actually this signal governs the direction of data bus. If DIR is high that means data from physical layer to controller is going on. If DIR is low that means data is passing from controller to the file. Now let us give a bit more attention to this DAR signal. If DAR is high, that means data from phi to controller is going on and it needs to be received on data Rx. On the same time, data Tx must be blocked to reach this bidirectional port. So our tri-state buffer do the same for us. Now when DR is zero, that means data TX will pass to the bidirectional port and finally to the physical layer. Friends, this was all about bidirectional ports. 
with this i am going to end this video if you like this video please press the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues please don't forget to subscribe our channel and for notification of the videos press the bell icon thank you so much